Berserk was a simple and old game where you advanced and shot enemies as a stick figure. The game featured 65,536 rooms and your sole objective was to destroy the robots, each hit granting you 50 points. There was also a small auto character that followed you throughout the game, killing you if he caught you. As you know, there was great competition in old arcade games. Jeff Daly was one of the competitors of this game. He would buy hundreds of tokens every day, trying to achieve what no one else could by setting a record in the game. After months of practice, Jeff reached the high score and died of a heart attack. A year later, his friend Peter Berkowski also reached the high score, took a photo of it, and seconds later, he too died of a heart attack. But why? Was it because they reached a score of 16660? Or because the game was so addictive that it embedded itself into their subconscious? Or was it because of the terrifying crazy auto? We will never know the answer, but in this video, we will explore a few game mysteries like this. While you subscribe and stay tuned, we will buckle up and step into a journey full of mysteries. Enjoy watching! The Columbine High School Massacre is one of the unforgettable events in American history. Two kids, aged 18 and 17, stormed Columbine High School, killing 12 students and one teacher before taking their own lives. One of these kids, Eric, used to create maps in the game Doom and one of his maps resembled the high school where the massacre took place. Eric had written many things like, This massacre was driven by Doom. Doom is ingrained in my mind. Which caused great backlash against the Doom game at that time. No, 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 wait, 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 Doom, of course, is not to blame for this incident, but it apparently provided a good practice environment for these two. In 2013, an 8 year old boy in Louisiana was playing Grand Theft Auto 4 at his grandmother's house. Suddenly, he stood up, grabbed a gun that was in the house, and shot his grandmother in the head, causing her to die. When the police arrived, they found no explanation for the incident. The only thing they found was the game still running on the screen. The police couldn't find a logical explanation and mentioned it in their press release that Grand Theft Auto 4 was on the time of the murder. Following this, Rockstar, who had been heavily criticized for games like Manhunt, spoke out. This time, PayPal did the right thing by not blaming the game but putting the blame on the child. The child is now 19 years old and living freely as if nothing happened because, according to Louisiana law, children under 10 cannot be found guilty and therefore cannot be imprisoned. Now we head to the Philippines. Three young boys went for a bike ride after school and accidentally hit a box on the road. What do you think was inside the box? A grenade, yes! These kids accidentally found a grenade and started playing with it. However, the third child realized it was a bomb and handed it over to the police without damaging the pin. How did this child know it was a bomb? Of course, from the legendary game Counter-Strike, a Filipino newspaper even ran a headline saying a violent game saved children's lives on their cover. Yes. Calling an ordinary game that saves lives a violent game is indeed very interesting. People's aversion to games sometimes make you question reality. Final Fantasy XV was a game loved by fans of the series and admired for its graphics. Whether you have played it or not, the world and activities within the game were simply amazing. The game had a peculiar focus on food. There were hundreds of different dishes and it seemed as if half of the enormous storage space was dedicated to these meals. These dishes caught the attention of chefs at the time and dozens of chefs tried to recreate the exact dishes from the game. An Instagram account named Honey and Toast was one of these legends, gaining fame by making nearly all the dishes from the game in a nearly identical fashion. Games are not always bad examples. Sometimes they lead to beautiful and fun things like this. You've probably all heard of the Lavender Town incident. This town is the largest cemetery in the Pokemon universe, filled with chaos, death, and tension. It led to the deaths of many children. But why do you think that is? Of course, it's because of the disturbing music that plays in the background when you enter the town. The music employs a technique called binarial beats. 
This technique involves using a similar form of the note consecutively and making two notes heard mono in separate ears. After the incidents, creepypasta channels and websites told the story in various altered forms thousands of times, starting a legend called the Lavender Tom Syndrome by labeling the music as cursed. Neither Nintendo nor the composer of the music made any statements about these events, and the matter remained a mystery. Visual and auditory elements can create different effects in the subconscious and manipulate it. However, we think attributing so many deaths to it is other nonsense. As for the channels exaggerating the incident by calling it the devil's melody, you're completely ridiculous. Despite all the real and false stories that have circulated about them, games are truly indispensable to us. We are among those eagerly awaiting Grand Theft Auto 6. Our systems are ready. And we are counting down the days to the big release. If you like the video and want to keep up with our content, subscribing will make us incredibly happy. And if you have any strange stories about games, don't forget to share them with us in the comments. Thank you for watching the video until this point. We produce educational and entertaining videos like this on YouTube. You can support us by subscribing and staying tuned. We all love you. Take care of yourselves until we meet again in the next videos. Goodbye. I think the girls with their nails done now.